So the White House bragging about a number for the signups on Obamacare. It says more than six million Americans are on board. What we don't know is how many people have paid and a flurry of other questions about that. Administration originally expected seven million by now, but Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn says that falling a million short of the goal is nothing to brag about. She's out of Tennessee. She's back home now, the vice chair of the Energy and Commerce Committee with me now. And how are you? And good morning to you. Good morning. I, I know Republicans like yourself are very skeptical about this number, but why? A few simple reasons. We don't know how many of the six million previously had insurance and just were forced into the Obamacare program. We don't know how many have paid, as you said. We don't know how many of those are the young, healthy that you have to have to make it actuarially work. We don't know how many were Medicaid or how many got subsidies. And those are the five questions that you have to have answers to before you can say how many new people came into the system. Well, but people like yourself have been asking for a long time now, give us the numbers. They said, we don't have the numbers. We, we, we can't tell you. That's exactly right. <laughs> what explains why all of a sudden now they have this? Well, because they're trying to hang their hat onto something, and they're trying to disprove the theories that everybody is moving to, that this whole exercise is about transferring the health insurance marketplace to the federal government and about single-payer system and federal government control of all health care. And they're trying to move away from that and say, oh, look, you have all of these new entrants into the health care marketplace. It is wrong. And we know that they're lying about this and that they will not give us the the information because think about it like this bill what happens if we have we're looking at a trillion dollars over 10 years to pay for this and that is just the beginning numbers and if you only have 2 million new people that have come to the healthcare marketplace what is that going to do? I mean, your numbers don't work. It shows how unsuccessful it is. It shows how much per person you have spent. So therefore, people say, well, it wasn't about access to affordable health care. It was all about yeah. government uh, control. I understand the point you're making there, but you said they're lying. Are they lying think, about what? I think that they are lying to us about who has paid, who has not paid, who is getting subsidies, how much they keep pushing off. They don't want to give us the numbers. It's like all of these delays. They weren't going to have any delays. This was ready to go. Then one after another, and now we're at 38 delays. 38 delays, just even at Christmas, even a few weeks ago. Secretary Sebelius, who, by the way, will come back to us at Energy and Commerce next month, is uh, was saying, oh, no, there will not not be another delay and then it is so you can look at it like this oh. they're either telling an untruth or they don't know enough to know what the law what is in the law they haven't completely read the law so that they can implement the law but I tell you there's an awful lot of skirting the issue around there and they need to fess yeah. up you say 38 delays I think our last number was 36 we'll try and figure okay. that out but on <laughs> Wednesday they say these are impressive numbers now they say 1.5 million went to the website they say 430,000 Made, made a phone call to the federal call center. But on that website number, what we don't know, because the deadline's been extended, and all you need to do is click that box. If you click the box, are you one of the six million? Yes or no? Well, and those are things that we want to know. How are they surveying these numbers? And how are they saying somebody has signed up? And then out of those, did they go in there and navigate this and click the box? Or have they put something in their cart to make a purchase later? And how many completed that purchase? You know, the way they are surveying this site, you know they're trying to cover things up because they will not tell us the truth and give us the numbers about what is happening. It is very frustrating. Just what they've forgotten is this is not their money. It is taxpayer money. Taxpayers want us to get to the bottom of it. I was just reading one other story out of CBS earlier today, and there are some estimates who believe as many as 20% of the quote-unquote signups may be overestimated. If that is true now, you have a scenario, you take 6 million times 20%, you're well below 5 million now. You're in the upper fours, which is woefully short of the 7 million. I'll give you the last word on that. 
Yeah, that is right. And that is where their numbers, this new math that they're using is not adding up. And they need to tell us the truth. They need to stop hiding behind all of this shifting numbers. And they need to say, look, we've tried it. It's not worked. It is going to end up costing tens of millions of dollars over what we thought it was going to be just to get people to the website. We need to we need to start over. Uh, and it'll be interesting to hear how Secretary Sebelius answers that next time she is before your yes, committee. Yes, it will, and she will be asked. Thank you very much for your Thank time you. today. Marsha Blackburn, the Republican from Tennessee.